I started surfing because my family had moved from the U.S. Virgin Islands to Maine, and we actually had pretty good waves in Maine. Much better than in the Virgin Islands. I grew up in a creative home. My mom was an interior designer, and she wouldn't let me have like knives or guns and stuff, so I got art supplies. <laughs> Um, I was around a lot of creative kids in school and I saw it kind of being more of a possibility of a lifestyle and a business opportunity for myself. I went to college actually for PR, advertising, marketing and that has been really helpful for me to be able to see how things are made, how products are placed, how things are designed and why people want them. Pure expression in art is a really wonderful thing and I really, really respect that, especially the people that are able to sell and market themselves with the artwork that is honest from within. I am a jokester and a, a sarcastic person to begin with and uh, this just gives me kind of a one, well, it just gives me another opportunity to kind of be sarcastic and get away with it. I don't like computers, I'm really quite Gilbert Grapeish when it comes to like electronics, so I'm a glue and paper and scissor guy. Um, silk screening gives me fast results. I'm kind of, I have terrible ADD, so I like images to kind of happen quickly. At the end of the day, art is a dialogue. I mean, because it spans languages and races and, and you know all the other different types of demographics. It's better than an internet and tweeting and all that because an image stays with you a lot longer than that stuff. Absolutely, yeah. Go to the moment. You have a dialogue with people that are dead. It's right next to yo-yos and right underneath slinkies, I think. Somewhere in there, yeah.